Hi everyone, my name is Eva and I'm excited to share a flow and stretch session with you today. As the title says, for the first part of, part of the session we will flow quite fast and then for the second part we will stretch and then we will keep the position for a slightly longer period of time. You will only need yourself and your yoga mat or a soft surface beneath you and then without further ado we can start into the front of your yoga mat standing. Feet can be hip distance apart. You can close your eyes for a moment, roll your shoulders up, back and down, lift your toes up, spread your toes and then lower them down. Start to explore the sensation how your feet are standing on the ground. So feel all the points in your feet touching the ground, bearing your weight. And then with inhalation, maybe with the eyes open, start to lift your arms up, lift your heels up as well, lengthen as if you'd like to reach something up. And your exhalation, you lower the heels, bend your arms, elbows to your ribs, shoulder blades together, chest is open. Let's do it four more times. Inhale, you lengthen. Exhale, bend. Three more, inhale. And last one, inhale, lengthen, exhale and bend. Lower your arms. Now inhale, arms up, exhale, forward fold. Inhale, straight back, maybe hands on your thighs or maybe arms by the side of the body. And then on the exhalation, forward fold again. And with your inhalation, bend your knees and lift your arms up towards the sky. So a little sun salutation while we are standing. Two more times. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, straight back. So really harmonizing the movement with the breath. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, arms up. Exhaling, arms by the side of the body. One more time. Inhale, arms up, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Inhale, straight back. Exhale, hands down. Bend the knees and arms are reaching up. Exhale, arms by the side of your body. Now you can put your feet together. Let's meet in a chair pose. So start to sit back onto the imaginary chair. Lift the toes up for a moment. Lower the toes down. Two more times, lift them up, lower. Last time, lift them up and lower. Now put your weight to your right foot and lift your left foot up. Your knees are squeezing one the other. Point your left foot and continue to bend the right leg. So your right leg is bent. All of our weight is on the right foot, right leg. Stay here, arms of your choice, maybe on your thighs, maybe in front of your heart, maybe arms are reaching up. Take a breath in. And now on the exhalation, straighten your right leg, lift your left knee up. You can flex your left foot, continue to lift the left knee up. Breath in. And on the breath out, warrior three. So push the left leg back. Stay here for a moment. Again, continue to breathe, continue to focus on your breath. Not forcing anything, but being aware. Exhale, left foot back, high lunge. Lift your arms up towards the sky. Lengthen your arms, open up your chest. Now on the exhalation, interlace your fingers behind you and open up your chest even more. Breath in, breath out, and then let's meet in a warrior two. So open up to your left side. Maybe you'd like to widen your stance. So open your feet slightly wider and then arms can reach to the sides. Breath in, on your breath out, right forearm on your right thigh, inhale, left arm up, straight line on the left side of the body. Let's make three circles with the left arm. 
really drawing these big circles with from your left shoulder with your left hand and now the next time you do the circle with that circle you come back into the warrior two then you want to reach something in front of you and reverse warrior arm right arm up maybe left arm behind you so left hand wants to touch your right hip and a gentle side bend check your breath come back to the breath inhale and then on the exhalation cartwheel your arms into the front left hand stays on the ground next to your right foot spine twist right arm reaches up and really lengthen your right arm up towards the sky breath in and then out lower your right hand down bring your right foot back into a high plank stay in a high plank you can add a little movement going forward going back and check your fingers that they're spreading wide index knuckle is pushing down fingers are active this way our wrists will be more happy breath in shoulder blades away from each other you can lower your knees down and tuck your toes lower your whole body down extend your arms in front of you lift your feet up and then bring the awareness to your back body so activating the muscles in the glutes glutes are strong maybe taking your hands checking that your glutes are really engaged arms lifting up breath in on the breath out hands underneath your shoulder downward looking dog lift your right leg up towards the sky bring your right knee to touch your right elbow bring your right leg back up with inhalation exhalation right knee to touch your left elbow right leg back up and then right foot into the front of your yoga mat hover your arms lift your left foot left foot goes into the front bend your knees arms reaching up exhale arms by the side of your body you stay where you are maybe close your eyes for a moment or two you can roll your shoulders up back and down so standing tall confident chest is open maybe also smiling that you're taking this time for yourself so good job i also appreciate you being here choosing my class today so thank you very much now whenever you're ready put your feet together and then start to sit back into the imaginary chair shoulders relaxed chest is open sitting back then put your weight to your left foot and lift your right foot up flex or not flex point your right foot and imagine you want to squeeze the right heel towards your right sit bone this way we can gently start to activate the right hamstrings as well arms wherever you'd like maybe reaching up maybe on your thighs maybe in front breath in and out left leg is bent so we really feel it we feel that we are sitting on the imaginary chair one more breath inhale and then on the exhalation straighten your left leg lift your right foot right knee up and flex your right foot So using this practice to come back to the body, to come back to the breath, to leave all the problems, stress and drama outside or trying to leave it outside by focusing on the breath, focusing on the body, exploring the sensation. Inhale and on the exhalation, warrior three, right foot pushes back, arms wherever you'd like. Keep the whole body stable, right glute is engaged chest is open the back of your neck is long you breathe maybe little wobbles that's great left ankle is really working as well one more time breath in exhale right foot back high lunge inhale arms up and then on your exhalation interlace your fingers behind you in a more awkward way 
So the other index finger is in the front. Shoulder blades together, open up your chest. Maybe add a little gentle movement with your head. Being mindful with your neck. Breath in. And on the breath out, come back into the warrior two. Moving to the right side. Arms shooting to the sides. Two people are lengthening you from both directions. Legs are strong. You breathe. Take a breath in. Exhale, left, left forearm on your left thigh. Right arm reaches up. Straight line on the right side of the body. We make circles with the right arm from the right shoulder. So as big as zeros as you can draw. Imaginary zeros, imaginary circles. And last circle, and with that last circle, you rise again into the warrior two. You reach something in front of you, and then reverse warrior left arm up, maybe right arm behind you to touch your left hip. Left leg can still be bent, legs are strong. Let's stay in a reverse warrior for one more cycle of breath. Exhale, hands towards the ground into the front. Plank pose, fingers spreading wide. Inhale, exhale, knees down, untuck your toes, lower your whole body down. And then with inhalation, gently lift yourself up. So your kneecaps are engaged. You're using your back muscles to lift yourself up gently. You breathe. One more time, breath in. And on the exhalation, downward looking dog. Take a deep, 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 deep inhalation. Open your mouth, exhale everything out. With the next inhalation, lift your left leg up towards the sky. Bring your left knee to touch your left elbow. Bring your left leg back up. Left knee to touch your right elbow. Bring your left leg back up. And the left foot into the front of your yoga mat. Hover your arms. Lift your right foot to meet your left. Bend your knees and arms up towards the ceiling. Exhale, arms by the side of the body. Now open up your legs wide apart. We will go into the forward fold with the legs wide. So adjust the distance and forward fold. In this forward fold, you can gently wiggle your hips to one side to the other. So as if you're wiggling your tail, this might feel nice. If it doesn't feel nice, so and of course don't wiggle. So find a nice spot. So it's not necessary to go 100%, but just explore what feels good to you. Maybe arms can be reaching in front. This might feel nice. Spine is long. Maybe adding a little movement going forward, going back. One more cycle of breath. Exhale. Now come back into the center with your hands underneath your shoulders and start to bring your feet towards more closer to you. And let's meet in the squat position. So in the squat position, um, if your heels are lifting, if it's uncomfortable to have your heels down, you can put a little pillow, roll your yoga mat underneath your heels. Add a little movement in your squat first. And then we meet in the middle. Left hand grabs your right ankle. Left upper arm goes inside or left shoulder goes inside your left knee. 
and then with the inhalation reach your right arm up towards the sky so a gentle spine twist while continuing to open your knees to the sides if this is uncomfortable for your head you could also take your right hand and grab your head so your head can relax and let go so you don't have to hold it but you hold the head with the right hand as an option if you're holding your head you might feel a lengthening sensation even more on your right side this might feel nice deep breath in and on the exhalation come back in the center now swapping sides the right hand catches your left ankle right shoulder inside your right knee and then with inhalation reach your left arm up trying to gently twist your your chest to the left side as well breath in and out another option as we did before maybe grabbing your head mindfully kindly for support check your breath listen to the inhalation and on the exhalation come back into the center now sit back behind you and put the soles of your feet together so we meet in the butterfly position open up your knees wide apart you can put your hands behind you shoulder blades together you open up your chest and then at the same time while you're in a butterfly position try to bring your knees so your knees want to touch the ground so you're not using your hands to help you open up but you're using your muscles so you try to open up so your knees go towards the ground breath in and out one more time inhale exhale now extend your legs in front of you shake your legs then we bend the legs and then we go into the pigeon pose so the right leg stays in the front shuffle your left leg back so first make yourself comfortable check your hips that your hips are square so if this doesn't feel nice for your knees uh, don't do it or don't go so deep the other position is a figure eight as an option so while you're laying on the ground and you do like that okay if pigeon pose feels good stay in the pigeon pose maybe lower yourself on the forearms if you haven't done so already and an option is to thread the needle with the left hand to lower the left shoulder down on the ground so we do a spine twist another option but really listen to the body do it if only it feels good for you the right arm reaches back behind you as if you'd like to touch your right foot so right arm behind you to touch your left foot and another option is maybe to bend the back leg and catch it with your right hand with your left hand you could also make a pillow for yourself so you can gently rest your head So find a sweet spot if grabbing your back leg is not comfortable, if spine twist is not comfortable, just stay in a pigeon pose if it's comfortable. We will stay here for five more, five more cycles of breath. While we stay here, really try to soften your whole body. An option is to put a pillow underneath your right glute for support. Two more cycles. Put your weight to your right foot. If you had your back leg bent, untangle yourself. 
Weight on your right foot. Lift your back leg into the front and let's meet in a cross leg position. So we are here just for a transition. Check which leg is in front. If left leg is in front, we turn to the right. We will turn around 360 degrees. Feet stay where they are. So hands to the right, lift yourself up, turn around, turn around, turn around. And now your right leg should be in the front. So this is a very nice transition. If you have done a yoga class with me, you know that I really like it. You can try to do it without putting your hands or without um, your hands supporting you just for extra um, playful challenge. But now we go into the pigeon pose for the other side. So now left leg stays in the front. Sweep your right leg behind you. Make yourself comfortable. So hips are square. Maybe arms straight in front of you. You stay here. Maybe four arms down. If that felt good, thread the needle, right shoulder down on the ground. Left hand goes behind you. So left hand wants to touch the left foot, left toes. Maybe right hand makes a pillow and maybe bend your back leg and maybe catch it with your left hand. When you catch it and when we bring it closer to the body, um, you should feel the lengthening sensation on the right thigh. Again, these are just the options. One is not better than the other. You just choose what feels best for you in this moment. And every moment is different. So wherever you are, the idea is to really try to soften and to relax all the muscles. So as if you are an ice and you are just melting down into the ground. Hopefully enjoying this stretch. You can add a little movement in the pigeon pose, going to the left, to the right. Let's stay in the pigeon pose for three more breaths, three more cycles of breaths. Then put your weight to your left foot, untangle yourself, bring both of your legs into the front, extend your legs and gently shake your legs. Okay, now one leg goes into the half butterfly and so left leg can go into a half butterfly and then right leg bend, right foot next to your right hip. Again, be mindful with your knee. This might not feel nice. Um, if it doesn't feel nice, maybe you elevate your seat. So you put a pillow underneath you and you stay here. If that feels good, an option is to bring the hands back. Another option is to lower the forearms down. Uh, you could also have a pillow behind you. Then it's quite nice as an option or have a few pillows behind you and lower your back on the ground, on the pillows. And over here, it should feel quite nice for your right front thigh. To intensify the stretch, you could engage your right glute. So you gently engage it. And as a result, you gently push the right hip up and then maybe the stretch intensifies. Again, you find a nice spot for you. So you don't necessarily have to go down and to lower your back down on the yoga mat. You choose maybe sitting, maybe going deeper, maybe not going so deep. So I always say that in my opinion, advanced yoga practice is when we listen to the body and not necessarily the ego and then we injure ourselves. So be kind to you. Be kind. So wherever you are, let's stay there for one more cycle of breath.
and super slowly if you were with your back down on the ground with the help of your hands lift yourself up extend your right leg into the front just for a moment and then swapping sides right leg goes into the half butterfly left leg we bend left knee opens up to the left side more make yourself comfortable maybe pillow underneath underneath your tailbone your sit bones or maybe behind your back or both and then you choose a sweet spot for you and again we stay in this stretch simply doing nothing So not checking the phone, maybe closing your eyes, observing the breath, perhaps observing the different sensation the breath creates. So for example, you can explore the temperature of the breath between the inhalation and exhalation. So the difference between the inhalation and exhalation difference in temperature if there is a difference so just exploring that over here the same as before you have an option maybe to engage the left glute gently push your left hip up so it's a very small movement one centimeter but it should intensify the sensation in the front left thigh arms can be wherever you'd like if you have your back on the ground, you could extend your arms behind you as an option. If it doesn't feel good, maybe arms by the side of the body. So you choose, it's your own practice. Try to relax your shoulders. Relax your jaw. Softening down into the ground. Let's stay here for one more cycle of breath. And whenever you're ready, super slowly lift yourself up. Extend your left leg into the front, right leg into the front shake your legs and now bend your legs lower your whole body down hug your knees towards your chest massage your back by going to the left and to the right you can with your hands um, grab your knees and then you can make whatever position whatever movement with your knees, with your hands. So your legs are not moving, but you're moving your legs with your hands and really exploring the sensation, the movement in your hip joint. So where your thigh bone goes into the socket, socket where your pelvis is. So just explore that sensation, how your legs are moving from the hip joint. And then if you were going in circles, swap your direction and go to the other way. So legs really relaxed. Only the hands create the movement. Breath in. And on the breath out, legs are bent, lower your feet down on the ground. And then uh, your feet can be as wide as your yoga mat. Let's do circles to relax the lower back, not circles, um, bending to one side and then the other. So both knees to one side and then both knees to the other. So a gentle spine twist while keeping the shoulder blades down on the ground. So you're just moving your knees to the left and to the right, not forcing anything just kindly exploring the sensation in the lower back. Last time to touch both sides and come back into the center. Now let's spend a few moments 
again doing nothing. So an option is to put the soles of your feet together and knees wide apart. If that feels good for your lower back, if it doesn't feel good for your lower back, legs bent, knees together and feet as wide as your yoga mat. This might feel nicer. So you choose, or maybe even legs in front of you extended down on the ground. And then put your hands on top of your belly. And let's stay here in silence. I really encourage you to stay here and to do nothing but just breathe and focus on the breath. So only five cycles of breath, five cycles of inhalation and exhalation. So I will stay silent and you start to count your breaths from one to five. Gently come back to the body, start to wiggle your fingers and your toes. You can extend your arms and legs. So as if you're stretching your whole body, as if you just woken up. Then hug your knees towards your chest. So really hugging yourself, hugging a dear friend. And then maybe hands behind your knees rolling forward and back if that feels good if it doesn't feel good if it's too much roll to your side and let's meet in a seated position so in a seated position just for a moment bring your attention to your posture roll your shoulders up back and down chest is open take your hands and with your fingertips start to tap your head your skull so as if there is rain falling from the sky so with the fingertips massage your head take a breath in and out now with your fingertips put your fingertips on top of your temples and make little circles to massage your temples as well inhale and exhale shake your hands and I give you a big clap that you are finished today with this flow and stretch session. So thank you very much for joining me today. Let me know if you would like to see a longer session, so like a 45 minute or 60 minute session again on my channel. If you'd like, I might record it, it for you or let me know what do you prefer. Do you prefer like a shorter sessions or do you prefer longer sessions? To support my channel, the best is to Press a thumbs up or thumbs down. I hope there is no thumbs down. Subscribe as well if you haven't done so already. Send me a message on Instagram. I put a link to my Instagram in the description below or leave a comment as well. So thank you very much guys and I hope you see me next time soon for another yoga session.